Good morning dear students welcome back to our online class once again so today we are going to continue with the chapter 2 civics president and vice president so far we have seen the functions and role of the president of our country the process of election term of office and today we are going to discuss about the vice president the indian constitution has allowed as per the article 63 that there should be a vice president for our country and the current vice president of our country is m venkaiya naidu so let us today understand that what is the qualification that uh, is eligible for a person or a citizen of india to become the vice president a person shall be eligible for election as vice president under the following conditions number 1 if he is a citizen of india number 2 if he has completed the age of 35 years number 3 if he is qualified for election as a member of the council of the states so these are the three points that shows the eligible qualification of an indian citizen to become the vice president now what is that point which a person cannot be elected as a vice president of the country or not eligible for the election that is if a citizen of our country holds any office of profit government of any state or under any local or other authority subject to the control of any of the said governments then he is not eligible for the sake of the vice president okay so now let us see that what is the uh, <clears throat> oath of the office okay now oath of the office is that once the president gets elected he will be taking the promise or vow in front of the president okay once the vice president gets elected he will be taking an oath before the president or in the absence of the president any person of equal rank or importance now what is that he will be declaring himself on the oath is that he will be bearing true faith and allegiance to the constitution of india and he will be remaining faithful in discharging his duties in performing his duties okay so next we will be discussing that what are the important powers and the functions of the vice president <coughs> he is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha so the vice president elected will become also the ex officio chairman that means he upholds the responsibility of the rajya sabha also he officiates as president in the case of death resignation or removal of the president till as a new president is elected okay so this we have already discussed when we were discussing about the process of the impeachment or uh, the you know in the vacation of the president the vice president will be taking the charge of the president now if the president uh, is been removed or impeached then or due to the death in that case until the next president is elected the vice president um, remains as a acting president uh, and continuing the work okay then when the president is unable to discharge his functions owing to the absence illness or any other reason in that case also the vice president will be discharging his functions and during such period he is entitled to all the powers and the immunities of the president okay so now when we call that it's like a acting uh, vice president doesn't mean that he will be there only for the name sake he will be responsible in discharging all the powers and immunities of the president itself okay so these are the functions of the vice president now we will be also discussing that how the election of the president is con vice president is conducted so we have already seen that when the uh, when we were discussing about the election of the president we have seen that it will be conducted in an indirect manner through the electoral college okay so electoral college consists of the members of both the houses of the parliament that is rajya sabha and lok sabha and the members of the electoral college are called as a members of the parliament so these members of the parliament they will be giving or giving the vote by the method of the single transferable vote and their election is held in accordance with the system called the system of proportional representation okay so that means there will be a proportional representation of the members to cast vote 
from both the houses of the parliament okay and this proportion is uh, considered as at least 20 electors from the Rajya Sabha and 20 electors from the Lok Sabha okay and these 20 electors will electors here refers to those people who are going to give the vote okay and these 20 electors are actually seconded by the another 20 uh, people of the or MPs of the parliament okay so this is what is a, a procedure that is followed or this is a method of the election of the vice president and the election the vote casting of the vote is done through the secret ballot system okay so these are the things you have to remember when you are asked to write about the election of the vice president okay so i hope that you understood this much part of the explanation now today let us continue with the term of office now what do you mean by term of office term of office shows that the time period the person continues in his post especially president vice president or uh, council of ministers or cabinet ministers how long they will be <coughs> continuing in their particular post now similarly like the president the vice president also continues till five years he may be writing address to the president resign his office such resignation will be communicated by the president to the speaker of the Lok Sabha. Now, suppose the vice president doesn't want to continue as the vice president and he wants to resign. In that case, he has to write his resignation letter in return form, of course, and he has to uh, communicate to the president and the president should also communicate to the speaker of the Lok Sabha. Then he may, for violation of the constitution, be removed from the office by the process of impeachment so impeachment is applicable to both president prime minister vice president okay and any of the cabinet ministers also okay if they are found to violate any of the rules of the constitution then the constitution has the right to remove from the office means from their duty from their tenure of office by the process of the impeachment he shall continue to hold the office notwithstanding the expiry of his term until his successor enters upon his office now a president vice president has a tenure of five years so until the five years the next vice president uh, will not be elected till that time the vice president will be continuing in his position okay so these are the things that you have to keep in mind thanks for watching keep reading keep enjoying and do your works timely and update yourself. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.